Hey, what's up, Reefers? Today I want to share with you some stories from the Lancaster frag swap that I attended last weekend. But first, I want everybody to give a hand to the Philippines Marine and Reef Aquarium Society for making a difference. I have been talking to Rib ever since I visited Philippines last summer, and he was telling me about this awesome reef club that he got going on in Philippines. Recently, the members of this reef club and a few other organizations decided to dedicate a day to cleaning up one of the beaches in the Philippines. It is their first go at this, and I hope it will not be their last. And I definitely hope more people will join in on the effort in the future. Some may argue that events like this may not make too big of an impact. But hey, they are out there trying to make a difference. That sure beats sitting at home watching a YouTube video, right? It is also about raising awareness, so we are more mindful about the trash that is going into the ocean. So please, give them your support and let them know that, as somebody who also lives on the same planet, that we appreciate what they are doing. With that said, let me show you what happened at the Lancaster Frag Swap last weekend. What's up, Reefers? Sorry, breakfast. I was not planning on coming to this Frag Swap, but a meeting got moved, so I've, my morning's freed up, so I figured I'll come here, drag Emily with me. I'm gonna check out the pet place. I believe the Reef Conservative Society is having a Frag Swap today, so we're gonna check it out, see who's here, and see what they got. Let's go. First time here, actually really impressed by how large it is. Hey, how's it going? Do you need some help with it? Uh, yeah, I think there's like a frag swap come going on here today. I don't think so. All right, thank you. It's huge. I've never been here before. Yeah. So my goal is to spend no more than hundred dollars or two frags. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys. So this is eighty-five right here, and over here is uh, hundred twenty-five. Really nice Indo gold. And right here we got the Aussie gold. It's forty-five. Look really nice. Good. Really quick lap. Come right back. We'll pick one of these guys up. So today we're gonna catch all crabs. Oh, they're holding on tight. The ones on the very Watch bottom are on the plastic. The bite you, dude. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> and then we're gonna eat this one? No. You have to deep fry the first. Here is pretty easy, pretty hardy. That's yep. This guy here. Uh, so I picked up a yeah, Australian Gold Toys. No and I see this one. Also for 100 bucks, and I have to pick it up. That's a right. hell fire. Looks nice. How much is it again? 100. So my budget is 100. <laughs> Blue pass. Hey man, I like your shirt. Hey, what's up, man? Emily. Oh, did you see the shirt? Yo, I love that shirt. Oh, man. I was looking at the stock That was I was trying to find a new photo <laughs> yeah, let's do that one. Then you right. get food. Apparently, after about three days, he got. Yeah, these guys are pretty good. I bought 45 of them, and I didn't lose a single one. That's awesome. How long have you had it? These I had about a week now. A week now, awesome. Yeah. All right, 35. And um, how much of these uh, sponge right here? 35. 35. Yeah. Do it. Do it. This do guy. It. Do it. Let me just do the starfish first. Sure. Uh, is your credit card reader working right now? Yep. 
Because I know a lot of people are having issues. Oh, by the way, uh, this one here, is it because of the bed? No. Yeah. 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 I'll do this after. Uh, <laughs> 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 I just, just snapped that. You are right about it. Seven, five. Maybe one more. Race you there. Oh, okay. I don't want to pick a stack. He wants to pick a stack. Yeah, these are my favorite. You pick one for me. What's the prettiest one? What tank are you going to put it in? Probably either a 45 for the drop off. Maybe the drop off. Green one? I need to pick the green. Good choice. Before you guys leave, come get them. Unless, unless you want them now, but. If I'll you're swing back. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. So it's really cool to see this because like for my drop-off tank, uh, basically I bought two chunks of these big rock rocks. I was actually paying like 75 or 80 bucks each, right? And I broke them up, shave off the rollers, and glued them onto the rock directly. Uh, so this is actually a really good way to populate your tank, make it look full pretty much right away. Just buy a chunk or two of these and break it up. All right, reverse, out of the frag swap. It blew my mind. Um, I was expecting something really small, but it turns out it was humongous. Uh, constant stream of people, lots of vendors, lots of you guys are here, lots of YouTubers are here. Great catching up with a lot of you guys. Just an amazing time. I think I saw maybe like 60% of the stuff. Uh, I feel like there's 40% I just did not get a chance to get to because I have to go. Um, I really look forward to the next swap. I'm just really happy to know there's like swap of this caliber in the area. It's only like two hours drive, so uh, I feel really grateful. <laughs> She has no idea what's going on. It is good. She, she has no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh man, well thanks for your help. Okay. Alright guys, finally made it home. Super long day. I just want to go through what I got with you guys really quickly. This is from Billy Pipe. He uh, sent me a DC River home each with a nice head of uh, well more than one head actually. A-can, green A-can. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much Billy. Next we got another nice three head A-can. Uh, rainbow A can for thirty dollars. I personally caught three ammo crabs uh, from Brian, and these are nice chunky ones. Hopefully, th these guys will help with the uh, bubble LG issue in the forty-five gallon tank. Next up, we got a pink Manipora Digiteta from uh, Fish of Hex, Travis. Uh, really cheap frag, 10 bucks for nice size frags with two heads. So really looking forward to putting this into the 45 gallon tank. The next three items I'm super excited about. These are really unique. You guys all know I love the gold torch. So I picked up um, a 1.5 head of gold torch, Australian gold torch from Kingpin Coral, Sean of Kingpin Coral. Uh, really looking forward to see how these guys look oh. under the, uh, the lights. Oh man, I guess uh, there's a little boo-boo right here. These look gorgeous. Next up, we got starfish. It's mine. We got starfish from Pet Rico's cake. buddy Frost. Uh, really, really beautiful. I think this, I'm not sure if these are a marble okay. star or some kind of star. If you know, please leave a comment. Um, so I think like the recommended tank size is probably 55 gallon. So I'm pushing it a little bit with 45. If I see that it's not going well, I'm gonna 
obviously giving him up to a larger tank, a larger system, but the key is acclimation. So I'm gonna take my time to really slowly acclimate the starfish to the uh, tank sal uh, salinity and other water parameters. Uh, and obviously I pick a smaller one just to make sure it has enough food source. And finally, the thing that I'm really looking forward to that I picked up today is actually this big rock right here. And you may be like, Yo, in a perfect reefer, your tank is packed already. Where are you gonna put this rock? Exactly. Uh, really good question. I did not actually think through this when I picked this up. But I saw this rock filled with Christmas tree worms. And I just had to have it. This is a huge Portuguese coral and uh, it's populated full of Christmas tree worms. And obviously these guys are filter feeders, so uh, these are essentially mini feather duster. So I probably need to start dosing a tank with some kind of uh, phytos or some really small filter feeder food. Uh, regardless, dude, you don't see this every day. Um, these rarely show up in the trade anymore. Uh, so when I saw this for 50 bucks, had to pick it up. These are the haul from today's that fish place, Frack Swap. Um, again, really great to meet everybody there. People are super friendly. The place is super crowded, but everyone's uh, super patient. They just kind of sit and wait for people to finish browsing and move on. Uh, really sorry if I kind of ca caused like some backed up when I was like kind of like drooling over all the corals. So now I'm gonna start acclimating all this stuff, especially the starfish. I'm gonna spend a lot of time on it. I'm gonna dip some of the corals. And um, I guess I'll show you in the next video when they're all in the tank. He's rubbing it in. Man, I'm not talking to you. DMV, brother, right?